So we've created our game, we've set up the lighting, we've set up the uh, various different blueprints and everything. Now we want to build our game to an executable so that we can play it outside of the editor and maybe even share it to other people, put it online, uh, really whatever you want to do with it, okay? So first of all, what we need to do is actually change a few settings because right now um, it's all on the default stuff, which might not be what you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit, project settings. Now filling in this information isn't necessary, although if you are thinking of publishing a full game, then you might wanna go through and fill some of this in. All we really wanna look at here is the project displayed title. And this here is just going to be what is gonna be the name of the game pretty much. So for this, I am just going to call this game our starter game. You can of course call this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it starter game there. And then down here in the settings, there are some other options that you can change. Now, along with this, we also need to go to the maps and modes up here in the top left. Maps and modes basically mean which game mode are we gonna set as the default and which map do we want, or which level do we actually wanna start as the default when we open up the game. So with the default game mode here, uh, we don't necessarily have to change this since we are manually overriding that for each level, but if you do, you can come here and select the My Game Mode for this, and this will apply to every level in the game that hasn't been uh, specified. Uh, so again, this isn't necessary, but we could do it this way. Then down here, we have the default maps. The Editor Startup Map is the level that appears when we open up the editor for the first time. Uh, right now that's on minimal underscore default, which is one of the levels that actually come with the starter content. So if you want, we can change that to our main level. And game default map is the level that opens up when we uh, launch the game. Now we don't want minimal default to open up since that's not really a game level and that's not really the level that we've been working on. So let's change this to our main level as well. So when we open up the game, when we double click on the executable, it is going to appear with our main level, okay? Uh, apart from that, that is really all we need to change or to keep an eye on. Back in our main level here, what we can do now is go to file and we want to click on package project. And this here is gonna build our project, put it into a package and allow us to basically uh, have it as an executable on our computer. So you can see that there are a number of different options that we can choose. We can choose Android, HoloLens, iOS, Linux, Lumen, tvOS, and Windows. Now, I'm running this on a Windows device, so I'm gonna choose Windows. But if you are looking to build on another device, especially one of the mobile devices, you will need to look up some important things because there are a few things that do need to be changed uh, when you are building for a mobile platform. But I'm building for Windows, uh, so I'm gonna select Windows, choose either 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on your system. I'm gonna choose 64 bit here. And it is now going to ask us to choose a folder to put the game in. So I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop here. And on my desktop, I'm gonna create a brand new folder here. And this folder here is just gonna be called uh, My First Game. There we go. Create that folder, select it. And then we can hit the select folder button down here. And that is all we need to do. It's very quick. Um, it may take time depending on how large your game is. But of course, if you are creating a very large game, then it can take quite some time. So you probably don't want to do this all the time. You probably only want to do this whenever uh, there is a release for your game or there is something you have to test uh, on different computers. Uh, otherwise, I recommend just playing the game inside of the editor since it is uh, pretty much almost instant. And there we go. The game is now finished uh, building. So what we can do now is go to our desktop here. I'm gonna to go to my desktop and we should see that there is the My First Game folder. Inside of that, we have a Windows No Editor folder and inside of that is where we have our game files. So pretty much to start the game, you'll see that there is a starter project application right here in the EXE. We can just double click on that and it will open up. And here we go. We have our game just as it was inside of the editor. Uh, we can move around with the WASD keys. The printing still appears at the top left. If you do if you do want to, you can take that away inside of the blueprints. Uh, the gates work as well, the physics work. Everything works as it should and as it was uh, designed for inside of the engine. So there we go, we've got a game built. 
Um, to exit out, we actually haven't implemented that yet, so we'll probably just have to go Alt F4 on that like so. Uh, now, in order to actually send this off to people, normally you probably aren't able to necessarily just send off a folder. You actually have to bundle that. And on Windows, what we can do, and on uh, other operating systems, is we can put it inside of a zip folder. And a zip folder basically just compresses it so we can upload it to the internet. Even this way, we can even upload it to uh, itch.io and many other websites as well. So back on my desktop, I've got the My First Game folder right here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to the Send To and I'm going to go Compressed Zip Folder here. Select that. It's going to compress this into a zip right now. Uh, it may take some time again, depending on the size of your game. And there we go. We have our zip file right here with our game in it. And as you can see, the game is actually quite large. It's around 400 megabytes in size. And the reason why is because uh, when we created our project, we imported the starter content. And the starter content is quite a large file size. Um, I believe it's around, I'd say around half a gigabyte in size. So if you are creating a game and you have the starter content, make sure that before you uh, release your game, that you delete those files, delete all the um, assets that you don't necessarily need as they can quite clog up your game as they have done here. But just like before, we've got an executable here. We can then upload this to the internet and share it with people. So there we go. Thanks for watching.